So I'm not sure how old this is here, but this is a clip published by Patriot Takes of Dr. Oz on the uh, Jimmy Kimmel show. Is this Jimmy Kimmel or is it the other Jimmy? Jimmy Fallon. I think this is Jimmy Kimmel. Um, anyways, so this video, I think, serves as more evidence that Dr. Oz is a sociopath, possibly a psychopath, because we just talked about this story from a couple of weeks ago where he was overseeing studies that illegally led to animal abuse of dogs. They were dying. They were supposed to be under anesthesia before they conducted tests on them and whatnot. I'm trying to recount the story from memory. Um, and that was in violation of animal wel welfare laws. So, you know, he just he unnecessarily inflicted suffering on animals for experiments. And it really you have to be a sociopath. You know, one of the indications that your child may be a serial killer, as we see in movies all the time, I'm not sure if this is actually true, but if you see them like torturing animals or killing animals, that's an indication that they may be a serial killer. And so we we got that from Dr. Oz, right? But also this proves that um, this was no normal thing for a kid to do, which leads me to believe that he may actually be a psychopath. Maybe they'd gotten better at it or something. Well, this is this is a you know, this is a 25 gauge needle, which is a pretty small needle, so uh -huh. you, you can't do much damage with this thing. When I was a little kid, I'll tell you a quick story. Yeah, uh, I was so fascinated by needles. I used to find my dad's a physician. I used to find his needles in his desk, and I noticed that. Or okay, let me just pause it really quick here. Um, I get that he's a doctor. He's a quack doctor, but a doctor nonetheless. That's not normal for kids to be fascinated with needles. I'm sorry. Kids may be fascinated with bugs. Or with dinosaurs. Uh, I myself really love dinosaurs. I was also partial to video games. Um, but needles? As a kid, I was horrified of needles. I remember in first grade, we found a used drug needle on the playground. And all of us kids, like, freaked the fuck out. Like, we called the teachers. And the teacher came and got it. Like, there was a huge circle around the teacher as she grabbed the needle with gloves on and put it in a little baggie. So uh, that's not a normal thing. Like, it, you're already explaining how weird you are. If that was your obsession as a child, it's not like this precursor to you becoming a doctor. Oh, well, I became a doctor because I was obsessed with needles. That's not normal. I'm sorry. Not normal. It has those little holes in the top of the orange, you know, where the pores are. I would put the needle through the pore and get orange juice out. And one day I noticed my sister's head had little pores in it, too. <laughs> and I still remember, I swear... Watching her head from behind, it came in, and I threw it in there, and it didn't go in. The skull got in the way. I got no brain back, got nothing back. My mom just whacked me that time. Wow. Just took me out. Absolutely took me out. I have to say, you might be one of the craziest people we've ever had on the show. I thought yeah. And first of all, I'm a little bit confused because he says that he threw the needle in. Like, I'm picturing him like a dark one. Whoop. But then he says he couldn't get anything out. Like, did you put the needle in and draw it? Like, what's happening here? And how old were you? How old were you? Like, there's no age where I'd find this normal. I mean, it seems as if he stuck the needle in her head. Who does that? That's not normal. Like, your mom shouldn't have slapped you. She should have taken you immediately to therapy to get help. Because if my kid did that, and I'm not a parent, but if I saw my kid stab his sister in the head with a needle i would think oh my god he's gonna grow up to be a serial killer we have to do everything in our power to change that that's not normal like this is sociopathic shit let's listen again and i threw it in there and it didn't go in the skull got he threw it in there so presumably he like used force or did he like stab it in like did you actually throw it he's not telling the story um very well and it seems like kimmel may be in disbelief based on the look by his face i don't know but now after seeing more from dr oz i believe him like back then i think oh bullshit you didn't do this you're just telling a story because you're a doctor and you want us to think that you were always destined to be a doctor because you were obsessed with medical supplies and tools and, and needles no I, I believe him and this is fucking weird this is not normal this is not normal okay yeah i'm not sure super jet guy if he hurt his sister why do sociopaths get a free pass because tv i guess so i mean if you literally torture dogs and you stab your sister in the back of the head with a needle and admit to it in america the republican party is like 
that's fine. That's fine. That's not too out of the ordinary for you. Like, let me just flip it for all of us, okay? Let's test ourselves. If there were a progressive candidate that checked all the boxes, but when it comes to their personality socially, they were saying things like this, would you not at least give it a second thought about supporting them? If they were showing us that they had some sociopathic tendencies, because I certainly would. Like, I, I'm admitting that as bad as Republicans are, maybe I wouldn't just not support that progressive. Perhaps I would still vote for them, but I would absolutely reconsider voting for them. I might just set it out or vote third party because I don't want to enable people like this because if they are sociopathic, just generally speaking, if they feel no emotions when they do bad things, then obviously that's kind of a hint that if they get elected to office, they could betray you because, again, these are sociopaths. So I would certainly rethink it, right? But Republicans are just like, I don't care. He's got an R in front of his name. Fuck it. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Wolf. Moralist. Wolf. Moralist. Wolf. Moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.